Hi everyone and welcome to today's Easy Real Estate Math in a Minute. Today we'll be talking about whether or not the Abrams can qualify for a loan. Mr. and Mrs. Abrams have a combined yearly income of $90,000, like to purchase a house in their neighborhood for $215,000. They've talked to a lender who can indicate that they can provide a $200,000 their loan at 7% interest if the Abrams can qualify. In addition to their mortgage payment, the Abrams estimate their taxes and insurance to be $145 a month, Mr. Abrams has a student loan of $67 a month, and Mrs. Abrams has a car payment of $347 a month. Will the Abrams be able to qualify for this loan? Assume an amortization factor of 665. Pause this video right now to do your own calculations, and when you're done, resume the video to check your answer. Okay, so by now you probably have your own calculations. Uh, the answer to this question is to first calculate the Abrams monthly income. Since their annual income is 90,000 divided by 12 months, their monthly income is 7,500. The second step is to calculate their mortgage payment. Using that amortization factor of 6.65, uh, their estimated monthly payment is 200 times 6.65 which is uh, approximately 1330 a month for their principal and interest. Now the 200 comes from uh, the loan amount, which was 200,000. So you just take the 200,000, divide by 1,000, and you get that uh, first number um, in, the, in this mortgage payment calculation. The third step is to calculate the total PITI and total monthly debt. So the total PITI is that principal and interest calculation, the 1330 that we calculated in step two, plus the estimated taxes and insurance, which is $145 a month, comes to a total PITI of $1475 a month. The second calculation is their total monthly debt. So we add the PITI, which was $1475, plus their student loan payment, which is $67 a month, plus the car payment, which is $347 a month, to get a total debt uh, payment of $1889 per month. Now that we have all of those numbers, the last step is to calculate the two debt-to-income ratio the banks require. The first ratio compares the PITI payment to their overall uh, monthly income, and that comes out to just over 19% which is less than the maximum 28% that the lender requires. The second calculation is the total debt, uh, monthly debt, divided by the total monthly income, which comes out just over 25%, and that is then the maximum 36% that lenders typically require. So with this information, yes, the Abrams qualify for the loan. So that's today's Math in a Minute. If you want more free real estate math examples, uh, real estate exam prep materials, and the latest real estate math news, please visit us at easyrealestatemath.com. Thanks, everyone.